I'm here with AIN contributing editor Kip Lau, who writes about safety for various AIN publications. And Kip is a current airline pilot flying an Airbus without uh, any experience flying helicopters, but recently he had the opportunity to go on an interesting trip and try out some new avionics in a Blackhawk. So, Kip, why don't you uh, fill us in on your background before we get uh, into the meat of this? Sure. Thank you, Matt. Um, yeah, I've spent 30 plus years as flying essentially airliners. Um, and in the last 25 years or so, uh, Part 121 turbojets, uh, currently an Airbus pilot. And so I kind of jumped at the opportunity to go try something different and have essentially zero helicopter time. So um, it was a very interesting flight for me. The flight you got to do was in a UH-60 Blackhawk, a Sikorsky helicopter. It's obviously used a lot in the military, but also for firefighting and medevac roles. And Genesis Aerosystems invited you to do this flight to evaluate its integrated cockpit, but also the Helisas flight control system. Yeah, that's correct. So the Genesis, the technology demonstrator, is a former Army Black Hawk helicopter that's been transformed from the you know the best of the 1980s to a completely digital integrated cockpit. So it's uh, been completely upgraded with uh, EFA system, uh, new radar, new radios, and an uh, interesting aspect of it was this uh, HeliSAS system. So what is HeliSAS and why is it useful for a helicopter? HeliSAS is two things. HeliSAS is a fully digital, um, two to three axis IFR certified autopilot. But then the uh, super interesting safety aspect of it is that it provides additional stability augmentation to an existing aircraft. So um, a couple of things that it does benefit the, um, in addition to added stability for the helicopter since they're inherently unstable, um, it also adds some flight envelope protections. As an Airbus guy, I kind of like that. Um, but then also it provides um, a recovery mode, which, as you know, um, one of the leading causes of fatalities in the rotorcraft world is uh, flight into inadvertent IMC or a degraded visual environment where the, air, where the pilots lose control of the aircraft. And as they lose control of the aircraft, um, what will happen, you know, obviously it, it as a catastrophic ending. So with HeliSAS, uh, the recovery mode is essentially they release the cyclic and then the aircraft will recover itself into a stable uh, attitude. How did you prepare to evaluate HeliSAS and the, and the new cockpit given your lack of experience in helicopters, Kip? Yeah, so, so as you know, with these demo flights, there's a lot packed into each. So uh, to prepare, I essentially got a hold of as much technical stuff as I could on the avionics system and then on HeliSAS itself so that I, once I did get into the aircraft, I'd be less distracted on the actual flying of the aircraft and then, you know, brushed up on some past helicopter uh, reading to see what the flying in the helicopter would be all about and then just let her go and obviously listen to the demo pilots and everything they had to offer to, you know, make sure that it was a safe flight. What are some of the key features that really stood out to you, especially since you've been flying Airbuses so long, that have envelope protection built into the fly-by-wire system? What's really cool is the uh, HeliSAS is that it provides uh, overspeed protection. So if you're in a position where you're uh, overspeeding the aircraft, the HeliSAS will automatically kick in and start pitching the nose up of the aircraft to slow it down. Um, in the same vein, if you're... Um, under speeding the aircraft, it'll actually pitch the nose over of the aircraft to allow you to speed up into a safe speed. Um, and then essentially a great demo on the flight was the uh, recovery position or feature of flight envelope protection was where uh, the aircraft was put in a position where it was in a excessive pitch over and an excessive bank at a high speed. And for the demonstration, the demo pilot released the cyclic and the aircraft righted itself into a near wings level position um, with just about two degrees nose up. And it ended up being on a nice, safe, stable platform. And then we're just able to fly out from there. What are some of the limitations of HeliSAS? I mean, any system can still get a pilot in trouble, right? 
Yeah, so currently, like, the autopilot's not active until 40-some knots. Um, Helisass is on in the background all the time, so Helisass provides additional stability when you're in the hover mode and such. Um, and then really the biggest limitation from other probably more expensive uh, autopilots that are out there in the rotorcraft world is it doesn't currently provide the fourth axis as far as uh, being able to hover. So it's completely, as far as the autopilot functionality, um, it's not available in the hover, but the stability system is on all the time, which um, actually allowed me as a, a neophyte in the rotorcraft world to actually be able to um, take off hover and land the aircraft without any assistance from one of the demo pilots, which is pretty so, cool. So, of course, I can't help asking, Kip, did you try to do it without the autopilot for uh, comparison <laughs> purposes? Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> the outcomes are much different. Is so, that enough um, said? <laughs> yeah, it's much, much more difficult. So, you know, it's been described as trying to, you know, fly a bathtub full of water. Um, it was just about that. So the um, we, you know, are able to demo it near the ground, but then actually had some better demos away from ground without Helisass on, which um, you could tell was a, a remarkably uh, different outcome. And I have to think that the Blackhawk being fairly big, heavy helicopter must be, in helicopter terms, fairly stable, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, my only previous experience was like a couple hours in a Schweitzer and um, that was a handful to fly. And the Blackhawk is very stable in flight, um, especially with Helisass. Um, and then, you know, obviously a bigger hel- aircraft's going to have uh, more inertia behind it, too. So if you get it going the wrong way, it's probably going to um, go out of control a little uh, quicker. One of the interesting safety features of Helisass is the hover vector. Can you explain what that does, Kip? Sure. The hover vector is a real dynamic uh, cue, which provides a point on a display for the pilots to, um, either on the synthetic vision system or on a dedicated display, it makes essentially a spot on a runway, taxiway, or helipad of where the aircraft's going to end up once you're landing. So again, in a degraded visual environment, such as a brownout or a whiteout, the pilot can simply, uh, with instruments, precisely place the aircraft on a specific spot um, when they're landing. And it's a great cueing, a great uh, feedback mechanism for the pilot to land the aircraft. So Helisass is certified on other helicopters besides Blackhawk, right? That's correct. Yeah, so it's currently uh, Airbus single-engine line um, from the um, H120 all the way through the H135 um, is certified on the Airbus helicopters. It's certified on the Bell uh, 206, uh, 407, and the, now the 505 in a VFR capacity. And it's also certified on um, the Robinsons, the R44 and the R66. Excellent. So in terms of some of the flying you've done, uh, how did this rank on the scale of fun? Uh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so, you know, so I'm typically used to like the time I spend below a thousand feet is uh, nanoseconds, it seems. But, you know, I spent the entire demo flight below 900 feet at a speed less than 100 knots, but, um, you know, often below 200 feet. And yeah, I got to see what a helicopter is all about, which is pretty cool. Kip, thanks so much for doing this demo flight for AIN, and we look forward to more in the future. Absolutely. I enjoyed it. Thanks, Matt.